kids before they get, like I said, before they get molded into society when they're young, they probably have more, more, they're more in touch or more in tune Mm. with more senses, right? Like, like you've been into, like, we all know the stories of like, you go into a house and if the energy's off, right? Or like something doesn't feel right about this house. Mm. You can't really, there's no, it's not smell. It's not sight. It's not, it's not sound, but it's something that you just, it's a feeling. And I always wonder, is that something that has been inside of humans for millions of years that has just atrophied with, with the rise of technology? Um, so really pertinent question. It's exactly what we are working on right now. Uh, um, part of that, you know, the baby books uh, that I was looking into designing when um, our children were born is that I found that that the, the child is so much more alert is what I was told, like in martial art, that they perceive things and often we don't notice as adults and we say, don't worry about that, you know, don't pay attention to that. It's nonsense. How could you know? It's almost like we have a ready answer before they given us their experience or what they're experiencing because we are busy, you know, like it's nothing wrong. It's just we are a culture that you can't hear this. You can't feel that. You can't sense that. This is, um, you know, must be a coincidence. I don't know, all sorts of things. But the child, uh, if you are not paying attention and you are the authority, you are the superman. You know, you can do things that the right. child, can, you can walk, you can run, you can lift, mm-hmm. you know, you know how to, you know, drive this car. I don't right. know, you, you do super things right. as a dad, right? right? And they're like, you know, I want to be like my dad, mm-hmm. you know, like he, he does this extraordinary things. And so is a mother, mm-hmm. you know, they, they're just capable and they that's yeah. why they come and repeat after us all the time. Right. And, um, but they are, so the child, when they are born, they're, the mind in the first year develops um, much more than it will ever develop in the lifetime of an adult. In the first year. In the first year. So then the child with two or three years old has more neural connection than an adult. So what happens, there is a pruning pruning period where the neural connections get pruned. Because they're not used, so they're made the connections are made, but because these highways are not used, they overgrow, if you wish. Right. So nothing goes to waste, right, in the system because it needs to be all nourished, right, mm-hmm. processed, and you know we we need to run this body. <laughs> and uh, if it's survive, redundant, eat, get through the day. Yeah, right. if it's redundant and you don't need that sensor, so like children uh, or adults grown up in urban cities, they can't see as far, they can't hear as well. We can't right. mix certain sensors. And, you know, like there is a research on like children have auditory uh, processing issues. And, um, you know, the 2.5% of children, it seems small, but it's a big percentage. Oh, and, yeah. and children who have some learning difficulties, and we know that children have, you know, learning disorders left and right now being diagnosed, you know, all over, anyway, in, in, in Europe and the UK. Mm-hmm. Uh, it's... Um, you know, now become so recognized that like one third of the school would have these issues. And 43% of these children have auditory, you know, processing issues. So interesting. But more than that, the sensory processing is, uh, you know, affecting how we pay attention to the world, how we process information. Mm-hmm. And if we can't process information, we shut down. So that means we are unable to develop those processes or we, they are too overstimulated or we are not, um, it's almost like we said, it's not normal. You know. Do you think it's possible to get it back later in life if you want yes. to? Yes. So there are studies um, that look into- so This is like plasticity, like brain plasticity type yeah, stuff. Yeah. yeah, so we can, our neurons can regenerate and can build new pathways, new experiences, you know, mm-hmm. like you would learn new skill mm-hmm. and it would just take you longer uh, than right. versus to a child and uh, so for example um just i'm um, having a look at um 
so what what we have is that because we can't integrate the sensory uh, integration, so there's Dr. John Ayers, who is mm -hmm. looking at the sensory integration, and it's a foundation for learning. So if we can't integrate information that's coming through our different perception, right. we're unable to um, put information together right. in an efficient way that I could do something about it. So then uh, I either get distracted, you know, that I'm not looking at it, and um, so, and what happens is because we've got screens all the time, and we know this problem, like this is like a <laughs> pandemic, right? Inter uh, there's a term called technoference, so like technology interfering with our life. Right. So infants before year before year one, uh, the the data. This is U.S. data. One point six to one point six hours children spend on the technology. The toddlers between one point six. Hours hour. yeah. So per day. one hour point six per day. On at the from zero to one. Yeah, under wow. one a year, under one. So toddlers two and a half to three hours before they hit two year, two years old. Adolescents they spend a working day on technology seven right. to eight plus hours, and this is a direct link. You know, so um, of course, if you're on the screen, you have fewer life adult interaction that includes us because we also go on devices right mm -hmm. because of work and you know right. whatever we need to do we need to search up i mean i find myself you know all the time thing they'll ask me a question where do i go right. you know so uh and so that that is um it, it, like we, we don't look up encyclopedia anymore we go on how to it's or, way less work now yeah uh, it's so much easier to yeah. find information and to yeah. And when you're when you're living that much of your life and spending that much of your time with your brain in that state in that kind of like dormant lizard brain state I can't imagine it would be good for us. Yeah, know? so what happens? So like so you and I on the screen. It's like right? it's like it's turning us from it feels like we're going from wolves to uh chihuahuas. <laughs> like we're being domesticated into this cute little animal that can't help is helpless and can't defend itself because technology is compensating for everything. I th I think we're developing other skills too, but yes, we are <laughs> we are reducing like you know ability to see far, right. to perceive nature in being like a surround sound. We, we're losing this um, spherical or three um, D perception of sound. We um, because we get earphones as well. It de mm -hmm. degrades um, our navigation, but it's also a sense our ear and uh, has inner ear processing. You know of of our proprioception in space. And when we are zoomed in, like we have shores, you know, like the horse is running. So right. we're we are cutting out part of the world. Yeah. And if you and I on the devices, are we talking to children? Right. And if we're not talking to children, they are losing out on communication. If we are not problem solving together, we're problem solving through the screen. They're not acquiring it, how to do it themselves. They're not looking for right. options. They're not looking, scanning for the environment on how they can problem solve. Mm -hmm. So, And even schools now. My kids are in public school and they're being put in front of screens to do their work. It's making me, I like, I want to pull my kids out of school and like homeschool them because it's just, it's sad to see that this mm -hmm. is the way it's going. It's making it more, it's making it, I don't know what, I don't know why they do it. I don't know why. Like, do they do they think it's mm. it's gonna make it more efficient? Is it gonna send, be able to centralize all the learning and all the testing for the kids? Is it? I don't know, but mm. I don't think they're really thinking it through. <laughs>